Let us something all... major that was to come. But on the 16th, the surrender document was signed in Bangladesh and the war came to a halt. The war taught us very good lessons. The first lesson we learned was the importance of good leadership. Our squadron commander and flight commanders had done a tremendous job of leading the squadron. They trained us, they held the flock together, the maintenance team worked, the clerical staff worked, and it was a fighting force. So before the war started, we were ready. We were very ready to take on the world. We heard of the idiom called saying, the more you sweat in peace, the lesser you bleed in war. We had done exactly that. And right through the war, we just lost two pilots. It's called Little Jal Mistri and flying off the Murli Dharam. But the type of role... I'm fortunate we, to lose such... Uh... It is a part of uh, the game, but uh, we did yeah. splendidly well. And in the 1971 war, our squadron was probably the most decorated unit in the Indian Air Force. The tally ended up with two Mahavir Chakras, five Veer Chakras, any number of mentioned in dispatches and by Usaina medals. In the Second World War, we had a general called General Montgomery of Britain, who had listed out the principles of war. And the first one in that said, selection and maintenance of aim. The aim of our squadron, a ground attack squadron, Mind you, the hunter came into the Indian Air Force as an interceptor. But when the Nats and the MiG-21s came, the hunter's role was changed to ground attack. And in the ground yeah. attack, because we're on a ground attack role, we avoided getting into an air combat with enemy aircraft. In any case, getting into an enemy okay. aircraft, air combat with an enemy aircraft inside the enemy territory was fraught with danger. You would run out of fuel, you would have to drop your ex external jets and tanks. You didn't know how long the battle would last. And in case you bail out, you would be a POW if you survive. And we avoided getting into an air combat. And that paid good dividends. Last but not least, question frequently asked is, weren't you scared? My answer is very clear. We were scared. We knew what the risk was. It was a job full of danger. But job had to be done. Knowing the risks involved and carrying on, which is with the duty, with the responsibility that thrust on you separates boys from men, men separate from boys, and we had to do it. The leadership made sure that nobody ever gave up on this. I have finished. Have any questions, please? Yeah, uh, thank you so much, sir, for uh, amazing narrating skills, uh, taking us through your uh, amazing journey of uh, operations during 71 war. So you rightly agreed that people are scared, but in, in, in spite of the uh, scare, but you carried out your job. Well done, sir. Hats off to you for your wonderful uh, valor and display of valor during that war time. In spite of uh, ground firing, going deep into the enemy territory, causing damage to the airfield and aircraft. So really, you uh, know, so incredible story kind of thing this is. So again, on behalf of all our airbus, I salute you, sir, for the displays of your bravery and the devotion to the duty, which ultimately gave you the award that you deserve, sir. So we check right now. So now, so I'm so far, unfortunate that I missed some of the action because of my technical problem. Anyway, we have some of our war heroes here on the call, like our when group captain, sir. Your sir. You're not, your video is off for some reason. Yeah, the, the, there is some uh, network, uh, pro sorry, there is some network problem, which uh, sometimes I went on to phone, again, coming back to laptop. And I, in fact, I missed the problem, that uh, the chronology of action anyway. <laughs> so I, thank you so much. Yes. yes, sir. Now we have our uh, no, senior uh, uh, VCHAK, uh, war heroes like uh, group captain Das, sir. Yes, sir, Das, sir, if you are there, you may kindly interact with this yes. another hero, sir. Available. Bala. I am from 80 course and uh, I was also ex hunters 27 squadron and 14 squadron and also I was in the OCU during the war which became 122 squadron fighting from Jaisalmer the famous battle of Longewala yeah I was the first one so I can relate your exploits to mine and what you did was a great job. Hats off to you, Bala. Good show. And Thank you, sir. You have kept but the me tell you, Battle of Longewala was a historic one. What you did, I mean, I forget about Pakistanis. Our own forces must have been surprised. It was a splendid job. It was the Air Force that won the day, won the war in that place. Amazing job. And I like that hunter model in uh, Delhi and all your names, everything is there. Right, sir? Have you seen that? 
Yes, I have seen in, that. In, near Western Air Command? Correct. Later mm-hmm. on in life, when I went there to Delhi, I saw this aircraft yes. completely put on the pedestal and the names written there. Yeah. Yes. Mala, you did a wonderful job at being younger to me by about six years. But for that, you did a splendid job. Hats off to you and hats off to you are well. God bless you. And yes, later on also you did very well in Air India and also in the civil flying. Okay, good job. Say yes. hello to your wife. We will catch up. We'll meet up somewhere someday. No, <laughs> yes. uh, I lost my wife uh, last yes. December 25th. But all the same, I am now immobile. I am bedridden at the moment, but that doesn't that doesn't spoil my spirit. I am always on top of the world. We are eagerly looking forward to meetings, sir, in the meeting on 31st October. God <laughs> willing, I will be there. Uh, yes, I don't know. At sir. the moment, the way the things are, I may not be able to reach. Anyway, Bala, God bless you and we wish you good health. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Wishing you the same. You will bounce yeah. back. God bless you, sir. Yeah, so that's our uh, group captain, D.K. Das, sir, hero of our Longovella battle. So now he was speaking to you from Pune, sir. Now we have our wing commander, Karnik, sir, also from Pune, uh, who was also awarded Veer Chakra. So he's, uh, I think, the most pilot in our uh, group. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah. Karnik, sir. Yeah, Bala, before you visited Guru, I, the night before, I had gone in a Canberra and bombed Murud airfield. The only difference was uh, all my bombs I had pre uh, planned that none of them will burst instantaneously. Instead, they were all with delayed fuses. The delayed fuses extended from 3 minutes to virtually 12 hours. The idea being, because I carried 8,000 uh, pound bombs, the idea being at different timings, time interval, the bombs will burst. And you people visited on the 8th morning in the daytime. So that is one thing I'd like to just upgrade. Second thing is, on the Hunter aircraft, I had, I was amongst the five pilots who were sent to UK in 1957 for conversion. We converted in the UK and when we came back, we were allotted each one to different squadrons. And I was allotted 17 squadrons to convert, sorry, 20 squadrons. Uh, to convert uh, 20 squadron pilot onto the Hunter 56A, so, um, but that was in Ambala. After the after I left the uh, 20 squadron, then you the squadron had gone to Hindan where you people joined in. Anyway, it's a nice update to hear from you and fresh my memories for old time's sake. And well done. The squadron had done really well. And I know all these people. Uh, uh, Rosario was my, is my coast mate. Jal Mistri was one coast senior. Unfortunately, we lost him in this 20 squadron. But there it is. That's about uh, best wishes to you. We had not met earlier because you're about 10 years uh, younger to me in all respect. In fact, uh, I don't know whether I taught your uh, course in Bidar. 97th course, I, uh, but uh, not in Bidar, actually uh, I had, uh, I was instructed in AFA from 82nd onwards, 82nd, 82nd to 86th, it is all that. All the best to you, best wishes in our sojourn. Yeah, so thank you so much sir, Wing Commander Karnik sir, and we have another 71 uh, war hero from the uh, ground side, Brigadier uh, Ajit Apte sir. So, sir, you may kindly uh, discuss, I mean, uh, talk to our uh, today's uh, wing count Bala, sir. So, Brigadier Ajit Apte, sir. Yes, sir. Good morning, uh, everyone, distinguished panelists, Mr. TBR, Mr. Patak. Bala, sir, uh, excellent. I heard you and it was absolutely superb. All I can say, I wonder whether you are 27th NDA or 28th NDA, sir. I am not too sure. But uh, my brother was 27th Fox Pradeep Apte and uh, maybe might have been your course or may have been i, I don't know exactly but uh, your mm-hmm. incident about taking too large and then you know uh, having a good time is good because when we were being air attacked continuously by the 
Pakistan Air Force till Don Lazarus, Ganpati, Massey and Suarez swung into action. I was the gun position officer and we were drinking rum during the day. So, uh, you know, we, we have a apparatus cable laying, which is a round uh, disc, which has got five, uh, you know, uh, you can call it portholes, which fit in to, to take a good glass. So uh, myself and my uh, neighboring gun position officer, Gabriel Pereira, in, in fact, we are still in touch 50, uh, 50 years down the line. We play golf regularly. So we had put uh, large go- uh, rum pegs in it to uh, drown ourselves or rather, you know, be immune to the Pakistan Air Force attacking us. So you did it at night. We did it during the daytime. And uh, at night, uh, troops get a free issue of rum to give them josh to fight. So, so rum, I think, is a common factor between the army <laughs> and the force. And uh, I, I like that. So it was excellent, sir, what you've described. Absolutely top class. And uh, good wishes to you. You had a distinguished career and you had the honor of flying uh, Air India 1 and the Prime Minister. I think hats off to you, sir. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Sad about Pereira. I heard about him. I knew Pereira. There were about my aircraft was without RT. When I taxied out, I came and parked at the war because I couldn't enter. I didn't see my leader. And then I kept on holding there for about 20 minutes on the first strike. And after about nearly 25 minutes, the leader appeared. I lined up behind him and he started rolling. Three seconds, I started rolling. And it been about 130 knots. I see another lad getting airborne from other side. So it was a head-on takeoff with the CEO of well, that time. I didn't know it was there. He was the leader of Nats and anticipated luckily, and I kicked the rudder. Just moved into the other lane, and I saw another Nat on the right wing tip. So it was a narrow escape and just miraculous. That how we missed each other on the takeoff run. Then we got airborne, and without RT, I carried on with my leader, till up to a Pindi gate that was our turning into the point to the Miawali. That's the time I called it off, waggled the wings. I said, no point going in. So I returned from that position. Be the lead, leader took the decision and we returned to base and landed with the RT failure signal from coming from Pong Dam. That was my first takeoff operational mission experience on the runway. Did you have any other incidents? I had just landed... And I got out of my pen and I saw that takeoff of gnats and hunters. And believe me, nobody believes that it actually happened. Now that you're telling me, it has actually happened. I told this story to a lot of people because I saw it happen. I was watching it. To you, my coachmate Arun Jetli, he was flying the packets and he was on that dumbbell. And in our uh, squadron, get, uh, rather uh, the course get together in the in Hyderabad anniversary, 50th anniversary, he was telling me, I said, what is this aircraft one after other rolling and then other take, lads getting airborne. I said, I, my job is to follow the leader. That's how we, and we, that's how we missed each other. Very that's, lucky. That was, a, that was a very, very, very lucky. I say, very, it could have been nasty. Four aircraft. Can you imagine just... On the first day of the war, early morning. First mission. Thank you, uh, Vinkabha Chatti, sir. I think we will have, uh, we will listen to your story. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mubi. So, thank, thank you. For our Thanks. Yes. So, he is our uh, Vinkabha Chatti, sir. He was... Uh, uh, Kalla Srivastava on the calls. Jain Balas. Balas. It's always so Thank proud to hear because uh, you have been uh, my role model and I came to forces because of you. I was also selected for 139 FP, but uh, I crash landed to Army Air Defense. Okay. Good see, Lalu Yadav, we didn't let the you know exams happen and I had to get delayed and I was hell bound to join Army because after my you know college, I was determined to join forces. It's really a proud to hear the 71 war, especially from the horse's mouth, the way you carried out the attack and the difficulties like today in the war, we have a very clear IFF system, identification, friend and foe, and uh, which you have communication, the RWRs, what today you have, the GPS systems. But tell me, sir, when you went to the attack in a dive mode, in a dive mode, it's fraction of seconds. So what was the guiding factor which led you to the precision attack? There were two things. One is an aircraft, one is a machine. That's all we have. The aircraft was an old one. It didn't have the modern gadgets. So you have everything 
to be done with your own brain, your own eyes to see whatever has to be done. So when you pull up, you look for the target. When you see the target, you have something called a gun sight. So in a rifle, you have a fixed gun sight. Whereas on these aircraft, we had a gyro stabilized sight. What it does is it senses the aircraft distance. It it lays up. cater for the gravity drop for air to air firing if you are turning it also lays ahead by the rate of rotation of the egg so for the ground attack it is a fixed one but it is lit up it's a bright light that you are putting on the target and the size of the the sight which shows you how far you are you relate that size to the aircraft as you keep climbing him the target aircraft starts becoming bigger so you check your range by visual and also by the relative size of it when you are firing at an aircraft you have six dots around and you can change the size of the dots up big and small by your throttle on the throttle level. and when you do this you are feeding the distance of the aircraft you must first set the wingspan of the aircraft so you have to manually set it there's no radar you have to manually set the range and then get the aircraft clip it within the diamonds yeah maybe because at that height and that critical time executing all this you know manually is uh, is a superhuman you know at that time because maintaining your peace mind threats we have something in the being an anti aircraft gun officer we have some gyro system but yours what you have at the aircraft is phenomenal that matters a lot and 30 mm gun today even now today we have how effective you find this barrage which comes out you know the 30 mm gun there are four guns and yeah. they harmonize them so harmonizing means you shift the guns you know what you are on the clear so you harmonize it to reach a particular range you can have a spread harmonizer or a point harmonization so you generally take it between somewhere so that the spread is such that if the aircraft is somewhere the target is within that range the spread will take it and each of those one round is enough because it hits and it explodes by itself the aircraft is not like a tank it's a very soft metal thing because to keep it light it's not a very strong structure and it is if you see it some target if you're firing at it chance of missing it is very small whereas the anti aircraft guns that we had is l 20 and l 30 or l 60 and l 70 so l 60 i am l 70 gunner they would fire 20 mm or 30 mm rounds mostly 20 mm rounds if i'm not wrong and they would only fire in rings and rings so they would not be aiming at a particular aircraft as such it's a barrage so the whole airfield is covered by two rings of guns three rings of guns like that that's we really basically you know fire in that fashion 30 mm guns and uh, in fact i also would like to salute the group captain dk das every day in delhi i see the aircraft and we have heard a lot about das sir and in ranchi bala sir visited us and it was a pleasure and uh, we are planning to do some renovation to our war memorial where these things will also be there and uh, for us since we belong to same family ilri it's always a proud sharing that we have a veer chakra warrior within the family so that's great and thank you so much sir thank you sanjay thank you uh, rao garu sanjay is the son of a colleague of us from ranchi he grew up in the same place oh great he went on to join the army <laughs> okay i think you are the inspiration for him to join <laughs> So so nice sir thank you so much sir for your interaction with our uh, today's uh, hero uh, Colonel Srivastava sir yeah so now anybody else would like to interact uh, can unmute and uh, interact yeah. sir because they... chatty here can i interrupt yes sir yes sir chatty sir yes sir uh, i had lunch with uh, your ex boss yesterday at a marshal uh, parker with along with my son rohit and it was a great meeting him it was a wonderful yeah. what i am saying is i incident about wing commander parker that time the aircraft coming and doing a landing pitching off on the runway how it all happened and how he landed is a marvelous sight aircraft was leaking hydraulic fluid fuel everything he switched off coolly walked out of the aircraft and the aircraft was pushed out by myself and other people out of the runway for chandni dhillan to make a landing at that time if i remember correctly that was the first mission of 20 squadron they no. he had taken a, he had led this flight to peshawar with dhillan as number 2 yeah. and they were bomb- by saber aircraft they had to punch the drop tank and they were low on fuel parker's aircraft had some 16 or 18 holes on it yep he landed his aircraft flamed out that's why you had to push it dilan's mm-hmm. aircraft flamed out in the air and he called out ejecting mm-hmm. and he called out ejecting he saw the runway and he did a dead stick he landed without an engine absolutely right bang on hello am i audible yeah but tell me so i am one so bh sharma flight engineer from jaipur i was uh, in airport from 77 to 98 i was not there in 71 just yes, oh my 
my query sir when you gave a call to your flight commander bogi 4 o'clock that time flying officer galavat also must have heard your call when you told uh, relax uh, our aircraft yeah galavat sir he's my ceo of my commanding officer who was number one he said relax yes when you gave a call to your flight commander bogi at 4 o'clock and your flight commander told you relax it's our aircraft that time flying officer galavat also must have heard your uh, rt communications he can't make out because we are not on the same frequency he is on a different radio channel he will not hear only yeah. two of us could talk and yeah, normally he know that he, yeah he was closing into shoot flying from the same airfield uh, same as we are at different frequency okay thank you sir it's for my doubt welcome can i come in sir yes yes please I'm, talk sir i am balinge ex sergeant and uh, from 61 to 1979 i was with the indian air force uh, there is a saying sir ki man proposes and god disposes with that saying today we could hear you and you are entire journey we realize it's a very amazing one sir the rigorous training exercise planning execution and team work these are the things where our indian air force works and the 1971 war has proved that sir particularly you and in your narration i was very much amazed that uh, with the help of two torches you taxied out also the one way runway runway light you could take off it is a really amazing one there was no gps system you as you mentioned also you were lucky to i mean rather i would say ki you got the longest attack on western side where you had to cross two three airfield of enemy and you could successfully reach to target and uh, attack accurately and return back lucky that our own aircrafts you i mean you were saved just because of sunrise you rightly mentioned sir god is there and god is great sir so with this your long life amazing journey we feel proud of all our pilots who have worked in 1971 war and got the victory for our country we feel proud sir even your journey in air india is also a very amazing one we wish you all the best to you as well as your family and long life thank you sir thank you thank you so much very uh, nice of you sir <laughs> that's the sergeant balinge sir uh, thank you yeah. thank you sir we have uh, colonel uh, keshav rao garu yes sir if you can speak colonel keshav rao garu yeah anybody yeah uh, patek sir you can also speak yeah uh, i am very much thankful sir bala sir in spite of all the problems of uh, uh, changing our program finally it has come through today and we are lucky to hear you such a wonderful narration your valor story and it was to happen because first time we met in during our galavat sir's uh, zoom meeting so that time also you reacted very well and you told some uh, lighter uh, moments with galavat sir so but i got one question sir every aircraft before take off have to take permission from flying control how come that uh, two aircraft took off nats and hunters from two different directions uh, how do how did it happen sir every aircraft has to get a clearance from the atc for take off yes if there is a formation of aircraft only the leader takes the permission all the aircraft can take off beyond that what is the question i have not understood very clearly then a question my question is how did it happen because all the aircrafts are controlled by flying control yeah they they give permission for take off now if yeah. by chance if they are given permission to hunter aircraft to take off how simultaneously they could permit nats also to take off that too from opposite direction okay. a very good question very intelligent one i must say that so as i understand don't quote me but as i understood but pathan court was very close to the border yes sir and we were worried that they could be hearing our rt and know when the aircraft are taking off okay yes. we had we there was a feeling i mean this is my thinking that because of that there was a decision taken that the aircraft will take off on a green light from atc okay they will not be given take off clearance on radio but they'll be shown a green light which pakistanis yeah. could not have seen so oh. my thinking is the green light that the airman was showing when he put it on for a flash both the aircraft saw the same green light for a take off and they took it as clearance for their aircraft to take off my god they really uh, it could have been, have been very bad fortunately and immediately after that they changed everything they said we would rather fight and go down instead of you know hitting each other on the runway that whole yeah, policy was... no they were in the same direction not opposite direction opposite direction two nats from the side two hunters from the other side fortunately nats were light because they were going for cap and the hunters were heavy with all the tanks of full for ground attack so miraculous uh, escape in that case and i saw it happening i it shook me i said my god this is this is having very very serious i think the, the presence of mind 
my pen when this happened yeah. so we salute your presence of mind also sir <coughs> yes. we shouted you yes sir. Sir, normally take off direction remains same it doesn't change at the same time at at the air direction it is decided uh, wind shock decides it wind shock decides the direction you know so So how come uh, both uh, aircraft were taken from four directions? Yeah, Bala sir said what he understood about that issue. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, Sadbir ji, thank you, thank you. Uh, sir, I, I think I think sir uh, Bala sir today's pilot must not believe unless it is told by horse's mouth. <laughs> like uh, you know Einstein has said about Gandhi ji that people will not believe that such a person has uh, lived on this earth. So such stories, amazing stories of escape and rather miraculous escape of life. People today will not believe that landing could take place or takeoff could take place with two torches or something of that sort. Anyway, the narration has been extremely good. Whatever the our stories today, we youngers are hearing is unbelievable to us. But coming from horse's mouth, it is a fact, and we are proud of our part. Thank you very much, sir. God bless. Thank you. Yeah, definitely, we are all proud of our fighter pilots of seventy one war. The way they showed their you know courage. Thank you, Mr. Sadbir. Yeah, anybody else, sir, who would like to interact? Uh, uh, good morning, good morning, sir. I am General Leo Amin from Kanya Armory, Radio Theater, seventy seven to ninety two, ninety seven. Uh, I am very really happy to hear that you say God grace that you have come out successfully in all your mission. I have a simple doubt, sir. When you have been alerted a ground attack by the squadron, and when you are taking off, all of a sudden you find someone in the air engaging you. So what indication you get in your pockets? So you are on a ground attack mission. Yeah. Suppose if you find something in the air to engage in the air to air combat, what indication do you get in the cockpit? Mm-hmm. like i mentioned our aim was to attack the ground target that is the task given to us by command okay and yes, the job is to continue and do that attack unless yes. i am threatened unless an aircraft of the enemy is a threat to me i will leave him alone i don't yes. take him on but okay. yes if i am forced into a fight my aircraft is perfectly capable of fighting we have okay. those drop tanks under the aircraft which will jettison to make the aircraft lighter and the aircraft can fight it was basically brought in as an air combat fighter so we will take it on but the idea was to avoid it bring the aircraft back and prepare it for another ground attack that was the role for the squadron does that answer your question What indication you get, sir? What indication you get, sir, in your your cockpit? He asks you whether you get any kind of indication that you have to engage in the air kind of thing. No, no, no. 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 He asks in the cockpit. You get an indication. If my leader decides, or if I am the leader, I decide whether I should take on the target or not. Okay. And our aim was so, to. Sir, is question here? Do you get any indication in the cockpit? That's what he he wants. No. Do you get any indication in cockpit? No, no, no indication, no. sir. No. No. Just your eye. Mission only. Huh? Later on, I was flying the MiG 21s. MiG 21 has yeah. sensors on the aircraft, and if an enemy aircraft radar picks you up in the cockpit, you get an indication that you are being picked up by an enemy aircraft. On the Hunter, we don't have anything. Okay. Now, imagine. Thank remember, this aircraft was designed in 1950, 54, 55. Five, five. So people okay. did not even spell radar that time. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Yeah. I'm sorry, I couldn't make out. Yeah. Thank you, uh, JW Nurul sir. Yeah, Ramesh, sir, okay, Ramesh Babu ji, sir, Pram, Pram sir, Pram sir, Bala sir, you are speaking from uh, America. It is really a pride, privilege for all of us to listen your the bravery stories and uh, number of uh, awards have been given to your squadron that shows your valor and uh, bravery and courage. My salutation to you for your great escapes and just narrating your uh, bravery stories. Yeah, yeah. सबसे पहले तो मेरा प्रणाम सर आपको आपकी बहादुरी को प्रणाम और यू गॉट टू स्केप्स वेरी नाइसली एंड यू आर जस्ट इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस नरेटिंग द ग्रेट स्टोरीज व्हिच आर अनबिलीवेबल and mind blowing stories the two uh, aircrafts crossing each other in the same runway it's a great uh, escape jaisa ki aapne bola dost dost na raha you lost your roommate uh, flying with some murli dharan it's a great great loss and uh, we we also feel for the same thing sir but the loss of four pilots which god saved them and you have seen from your own eyes so main kehna chahunga sir ki jaako rakesh saiya maar sake na koi क्या कहेंगे आप बिल्कुल <laughs> बिल्कुल सही कहा आपने यही बात है थैंक यू वेरी मच सर मैं आपको एक बात बताता हूँ आपको पिछले पचास साल में मेरे पचास साल में जो मैंने फ्लाइंग की है 
उसमें एक तो लड़ाई पे गया उसके सिवाय मेरे जहाज में आग लगी है मेरे इंजन फेल हुए हैं, मेरे टायर फेल हुए हैं, मेरा हाइड्रोलिक सिस्टम फेल हुआ है और मेरे एयरक्राफ्ट में बॉम्ब है ये वार्निंग भी मुझे मिला है इसके बावजूद मैं आपके सामने बैठा हूँ <laughs> इससे क्या साबित होता है नहीं इससे क्या साबित होता है आप समझेंगे नहीं इससे ये साबित होता है कि इतना प्रॉब्लम होने के बाद भी अगर मैं जिंदा हूँ इसका ये मतलब होता है कि जहाज में सफर करना बड़ा सेफ होता है एयरक्राफ्ट इज वेरी सेफ टू फ्लाई विद ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स आई एम स्टिल सर वी आल प्रे फॉर योर लॉन्ग लाइफ सर लॉन्ग लाइफ एंड वी दैट प्रे दैट यू गेट द डबल पेंशन डबल पेंशन यू गेट आफ्टर हंड्रेड इयर्स सर सो वी प्रे फॉर दैट सर थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच गॉड ब्लेस यू सेम टू यू थैंक यू सर या थैंक यू रमेश बाबू गरु देन एनीबॉडी एल्स सर वुड लाइक टू आस्क एनीथिंग लाइक आवर वरुण मुत्तु गरु सर सो वन बड यू नो एक्साइटिंग एंड एडवेंचरस लाइफ इन इंडियन एयर फोर्स फॉर अबाउट टू डेकेड्स so what are your great learnings from air force sir which helped you to navigate smoothly in the civil life i was when i joined the training i didn't know much about aircraft my love affair with aircraft started once i started my air force career the love affair with aircraft <laughs> grew okay. so much it grew so much yeah. for me aircraft is a living thing it's a living creature in fact aircraft is a part of my body and in 1982 83 i got a ground posting oh right okay great i was posted as a flight safety officer somewhere sir and that made me realize how much i am missing flying in the air force you do not okay. fly beyond a wing commander's level i became a wing commander i got to a flying station <laughs> Achha, okay. but i knew that yes, from after that i will again miss flying and i said i must get out and then since i wanted it badly okay upar wale ne rasta banaya mere liye and i continued to be in an aircraft right till 2017 The great achievements are so great. really uh, great your passion for flying continued even after air force i think uh, that only took you to so far made you to hit half century of flying half a century of flying almost 50 years of flying is really yes. great and in spite <laughs> of all the uh, other challenges uh, as you just now explained so really great so so, so uh, let me correct you i didn't fly for 50 uh, years i was connected to aviation for 50 more than 50 years the last few years yeah. i was a simulator instructor yes. okay excuse me sir can i can i yeah can please I? please Please. Sir, uh, sir, you just mentioned that uh, apart from the war, the number of emergency you had uh, undergone, like a uh, hydraulic failure and then some engine problem and other issues. Sir, uh, can you narrate? Can you narrate one of the case which will be very, uh, very great learning for us? And from that also, you have taken the appropriate decision and you could <laughs> handle that. <laughs> It yeah, is great uh, I, I understand that. So, since everybody may not be interested, today is not the time. I will definitely like to share uh, whatever I can. If anything is beneficial, why not? True, I sir. will do that. Uh, Thank you, sir. Uh, how you would handle the bomb threat? A uh, bomb threat? How you have handled that one issue? We can say, sir, it could be interesting. <laughs> bomb threat in the aircraft. <laughs> in very short in very short i was flying from bombay to uh, dubai delhi to dubai and i got a bomb threat when i was over pakistan and i had to handle a bomb threat in pakistan i landed in karachi and we did the bomb evacuation everything it's a long story it's a long story but that's how we did it yeah you have to land the airplane evacuate the passengers you get just that much time sir can we have one more session Acts from you to your bravery sir acts up to your bravery sir, sir we would love that We would Hello. love that session, sir. One more session, we would love. Any time, sure. You sir, know, P, I I love people in uniform. All of you, uniform people, you have given your best to the country. I am with you. Whatever you want, I will be with you. Thank Not you. a problem. I would Thank love you. it. Yeah. Can we have one more session for you? Yeah, this session was free. Next session, we have to pay me. Okay. उटरेटलीविलेशन ऑल्सो It's all emergency. Thank you, patient sir. All of you, please. Sir, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, yeah, I I will come back again. There is some issue with my network. Sir, can you before we leave this uh, uh, call towards the end, can we have a, a message from you, sir, to all our air viewers and the call about your uh, life or learnings uh, from the life? What message would like to give us? 
Message for whom do you want? For the veterans? Yes, sir. Veterans, sir. Veterans on the call. Okay. Uh, first and foremost, I salute all the veterans. All of you who have done the uniform, who have worn the uniform, have kept the Indian national flag flying high. You've done great service for the country. Now, you all know what all you have done and how far you have come in life. You must take pride of that. You must be proud of what you have done for the country. You must have faith. Leading from that, you must have faith and what more you can do and how far you can travel in future. Remember, if we all have gray hair, it shows that we have experience. If you have experience, it's our duty to inspire the youth and help them in nation building because the youth has to build this nation. You have done your bit and they have to. And you have to get them on the correct path. I would also request all of you to stay young. Don't count your age in numbers, okay? Just say you will remain young. And to remain young, it is very important that you keep your brain ticking. Look at life. Pick up small challenges. Learn something new all the time. <clears throat> and lastly, but not the least, remember, wonder. Wonder about this, wonder about that. Wonder about nature, flowers, fruits. Wonder about technological improved changes. Computers. There are so many things to wonder about. This will keep your brain active as you'll remain young. Last but not the least, remember, your life is your story. Give a good time to your family, to yourself, and make this story a happy story. God bless you all. And Jai Hind. Very well articulated, sir. Message. Uh, really a, a, an amazing message for all of us. Don't count your years. Keep busy. You, you will busy. I think in that uh, fold only comes our activity of keeping all the people busy and uh, so living, leading a life of a purpose. So purpose is something which keeps us moving towards the life in a better Absolutely. way. Absolutely. So that's Absolutely. what we call logotherapy, meaningful life. So that's what uh, we have been doing in during this pandemic time. So no forgetting about the pandemic and you know getting uh, listening to the great stories and getting inspired by this uh, of great wa uh, warriors like you it's really amazing sir and your message is also equally amazing as your stories thank you so much sir and of all the, our air warriors sir warrior, standing uh, over sir. wonderful sir standing over sir yeah i think he deserves definitely yes. okay he needs this. he deserves a standing <laughs> ovation sir. standing ovation for his uh, uh, no, courage, valor, and all those things. I think there's a lot to be learned from your story, sir. As you rightly put it, you will see the best story, happy story, balancing the life between all the things. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Today. Take care. So have a and great Ram health ahead, sir. And thank you. Thank all you. All the best to you all. Yes, bye bye. Thank you, sir. God thank bless you. you all. God bless. Thank you.